All right, this video today uh, brought to you by dnamatchhelp.com. My name is Robert Wells, and uh, keeping the uh, line with what I usually do, not going to go into a bunch of uh, long description about anything. We'll go straight to the point. What we're here for today is to show you how to share your DNA matches with someone else. And the, you may ask, what is the reason you'd want to do that? Well, you may be collaborating with someone else, um, Maybe you want another set of eyes, look at your DNA results, maybe see something that you're not seeing. And if, and if you, um, you are getting me to help you with your DNA results, this is something that you would need to do to share your DNA results with me before we would start a phone call to make sure we get the best use of our time. Okay, how we do that, you go to DNA, your DNA results summary, and it brings your main DNA screen up here showing your um, DNA story, ethnicity results, matches, and your DNA circles. Now, if you look up in the top right-hand corner of the screen, you've got view and other DNA tests. Say you got more than one DNA test. You want to make sure you pick the uh, correct DNA test to share. And for now, I'll just we'll just stay with where I am. Okay, right beside that button, you have settings. You want to click on that and wait for that screen to load. And if you scroll down near the bottom, now you've got two things down here, DNA results access and sharing ethnicity results. Now don't get to share any ethnicity results um, confused with your DNA access. That just allows you maybe to pay, pay state, um, send out a uh, link over to your ethnicity results. That's not what we're here for today. You want to look at um, DNA results access. And what this will do, what... I guess the best way to explain this, when you go in, you go into your DNA test and you look at your DNA matches, you'll see all of them listed there. And you can go in and click on it and view the details, you know, the tree, the other shared matches, and the locations, and any notes you've taken. So what it is, this will allow another person to see those DNA matches in a view. Now, I know in a presentation I gave one time, I had a question come up to me is that if you do that, does that make your DNA um, matches public to the world? Like, say, for instance, just like if you had a public tree. No, it will not do that. It only makes those DNA results visible to the person that you shared it with. Now, the first thing you want to look at, you want to go over here and look at the role details. you got three roles. you got viewer, collaborator, and manager. Now, you want to look at these and see which one you would want to grant. Now, I would not recommend giving anyone manager access because if you look here, you have that. And I'm not saying someone's going to go in and permanently delete one of your DNA matches, but um, they could do it by accident. So make sure that you do not allow anyone access to um, manager unless you are really sure. Now, there may be, the only case would be, now, I've people that I've worked with have wanted me to download the raw DNA for them to upload to uh, GEDmatch, so they have granted me manager access. But what I do in that case, as soon as I download the DNA, the raw DNA, I will ask them to go back and give me collaborator. Because with the collaborator, um, you can't change any... Um, you can't change any settings. But now the only thing as far as collaborate, if you want uh, a manager, if you want the person, like say you have me working with and you just want me to send messages to um, your DNA matches, you would have to give me uh, manager access. But um, I'm experienced with this enough. I'm not going to delete your DNA matches by accident. So I'm definitely going, not going to delete them um, on purpose. So... So you, you have to weigh that, but probably in most cases you don't give them a collaborator. If you just want someone to look and not allow them to make any kind of notes or anything like that, you just want them to look and help you out, give you some suggestions, then you just want to give them viewer. All right, let's go down here and show you how you do this. Pretty pretty simple. You just go add person. Um, and right here you put in either email address or their ancestry uh, username. And um, I'll give you an example. The email address I use for Ancestry is rwellsgenealogy at yahoo.com. But my username is r underscore wells 
No, R underscore E underscore Wells underscore JR for junior. And that's what you would have to put there. And then you would go in. Well, I'll just show you an example of that. Yep. Well, it looks like I messed that up, but don't really matter. We're not going to send this. But then you go in here, choose your um, level, your access level, what's called a roll, like a security roll that you want to sign to that person, and then just click send invitation. And then they'll get an email letting them know that they've been granted access to that. All right, so that's um, all there is to it. Hope this video was beneficial. Be sure to uh, check out my YouTube channel and my website, DNA Help, DNA Match Help .com. All right, this is Robert Wells. And until next time, goodbye.